Uh, my question is this. This is coming from Andrew Jameson. Uh, how should I partition a one terabyte drive that will be used solely for Ubuntu to get the best performance and experience with Ubuntu 9.10? Thanks from Andrew Jameson. P.S. I'm going to try to be in the chat room for the live show. Uh, if you need more information, I'll answer this. So good to see you, Andrew. And, uh, okay, so first of all, you say you're looking to flip-flop this around and do a fresh install of Fedora 12 onto the USB drive. Is that right? You want to put this through USB at 480 megabits a second? Ever mind, confirming what I'm saying here. USB 2.0, like using an external drive for an OS? Dog slow. Right now. We're going to talk a little bit later about USB 3.0. I know that uh, A. Jameson was in the chat room. I'll give it a couple of seconds there. I hope you're there. Yeah, uh, WarCow mentioning ESATA would be better at this point at 3 gigabits a second as opposed to 480 megabits a second. So, forgetting about the Fedora 12, because I'm not getting a response here in the chat room from A. Jameson, um, forgetting about Fedora 12 on the USB, which is going to be dog slow, and, and you just you wouldn't want to do it. It just would cripple the operating system and just make you think that it's running poorly and it's, it really would run really well if it was on SATA or ESATA. So forgetting that, you're asking about uh, setting up a partition on a one terabyte hard drive for Ubuntu 9.10. So I, I don't know. You're asking somebody who has some opinions about these larger drives because the, the bigger the drive... The more platters you got, the more heads you've got, the more chance for failure you've got. So I, I tend to prefer to put my operating system on a smaller drive, less chance of failure, because the operating system drive is constantly being accessed. Okay, So every time you run an application, every time you do anything in the operating system, it's accessing that drive. I tend to think that you know because of the, because of the issue with multiple platters and multiple heads, more than multiple, on the larger drives, one terabyte, 1 1.5, two terabytes. I would rather use that as a data drive, something that I'm going to be writing once and then occasionally reading data from it. But usually it's just like, you know, you write it out once and then the drive sits basically waiting for the next write operation. It doesn't really do much, the data drive. So I would, uh, I would personally throw the operating system on one of those 250 gigabyte drives, assuming they're 7200 RPM, making that uh, guesstimate. And then uh, I would use one of the one, one terabyte drives as your, uh, your home folder for Ubuntu. That's how I would do it. And you're asking for my opinion. So uh, any thoughts on that, everybody? And of course, uh, you know, ever mind mentioning, is it IDE or SATA? We don't really know that, but it's going to work the same while SATA will be much faster, I would still say that my answer would, uh, would apply to both. All right, so still no response from A. Jameson, so we'll leave it at that. If people want to mention uh, anything to Andrew uh, in the chat room, that's cool as well. And hopefully, uh, yeah, Warcow saying that he agrees. If you've got a spare drive, put the OS on that. And I think if it's a smaller, faster drive, or just a small fast drive, that's going to be a little, little zippier. And also having your home folder on a different drive than your operating system drive is going to speed things up because you're, you're not saturating the bus of that drive to do both operating system stuff and data stuff at the same time. All right, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to move on from that. Andrew, I really hope that that helps you out.